Hi, and welcome to your next lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. This time, let's talk about strings and characters in a bit more detail. First off, let's start with characters, since there's less to cover. Characters, as we know, are used for a single character, such as A, 5, or backslash N, which we've talked about. Remember the lecture on ASCII code? the American standard code for information interchange. Character is stored as a number internally. That is the same as the ASCII code. Well, actually, ASCII is no longer used, but it is stored as a number internally, part of a new information interchange called code called the Unicode. So indeed, we can only have up to 65,535 characters, and this is the Unicode set. So as for a couple examples, we have car C equals backslash N, or car some character equals A. Well, a string is a concatenation of characters, which is many car joined together. And there's many things we can do with strings that we can't do with car, such as slice them, get a part of the string, get a what we call a substring, for example, if our string is hello world, we can get hello, we can get world, or we can get the comma or the exclamation mark at the end, of a or any other part, any other number of characters from that string. We can compare two strings. As you will learn in a bit, we don't compare strings like we compare integers. Integers we compare with equals equals. We don't compare strings that way. And we can concatenate one string with another, as we've already learned. There's many more things we can do with strings, but let's not worry about those for now. Let's see how we do string concatenation. We've seen this already, so this should be fairly simple. If we have a string called my string or my str, that equals hello world. And then we can print that out. And then string other string is some more. The final string would be hello world some more. This is fairly simple, and we've done how to concatenate strings together with plus sign in an earlier lecture. We can also compare strings. As I've said, we usually compare them with two equal signs. And what is going to come now is an explanation of why we compare some things with equal signs and why we compare some things without equal signs. And this is because when we compare things with equals equals, we are comparing primitives. A primitive is just a data type that is built into the Java language. For example, int, long, float, double, boolean, car. And if you go onto Eclipse, you will see how um, they are colored in purple when you write int, long, float, double, boolean, or car. However, string is not colored in purple. This is because strings are not primitives. They are not built into the Java language. They are objects. Just as we created our class dog, there is a class string that holds functionality regarding strings. This is why we don't compare strings with equals equals. Because strings are not primitives. The value of the string, the hello world part of the string, isn't something that is inherent to the string. It is a property inside the object. So. This is why strings are not colored in purple in Eclipse. And this is why we don't compare them with equals equals. We instead compare them with a method that is inside the string class. And this method is equals. Um, and this method takes the string with which we are comparing the other string. Just like so. Let's say we have a string called my str, And this equals hello world. And then some other string, which equals some more. In order to compare both, we would say... Let's call the equals method of my str by doing my str dot equals and then compare my str to the other string. This will return either true or false, as we've seen the method can return values. In this instance, boolean r equal would would be false because hello world and some more are not equal. Maybe at a later lecture, I'll explain why we're not comparing them with equals equals and what would happen if we compared them with equals equals. String slicing is getting a part of a string or a substring. 
and this is done very simply like so. String mystr equals hello world, and then some other string equals a substring from my string, which we uh, call by doing mystr dot substring. And then between the two brackets, we have the starting index and the end index. So here we start in character zero, which is the uh, uppercase H, and we go up to the uh, character number five, which is lowercase O. Um, well, it's actually the comma, but it's not included. So in this case, it would be H E L L O, and the comma is character five because H is one, H is zero, E is one, L is two, L is three. O is 4, and then the comma is number 5, but number 5 is not included in in the substring, so here we would only copy hello. So this was not as easy as the previous lecture, but in the next video we will go through a programming exercise in which we will use all of these concepts, and that will clear out any doubts you may have. If you do have any further doubts, however, you can always ask a question on the right side panel of the Udemy uh, course page. So I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.